this fucking shit is a little too bright for me. I gotta fucking turn that down. There we go. Minnesota, my home state where I've lived almost my entire adult life. I've grown up here. I've seen most of the state. And tell you what, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's cold as fuck. But the land of 10,000 lakes, right? Sounds majestic. There's also 10,000 different moments in time when our, none of our sports teams could ever win a fucking championship. Except for the Minnesota Lynx. They're cool as fuck. And you might go on, Alex, what, what is this? What is this video? And truthfully, I don't actually know. All I know is that I just spent uh, an agonizing 30 five minutes roughly uh traveling through the interstates of the lovely minneapolis metro and suburban area and i just had a bone to pick with how many drivers there are on the interstate how are you all this fucking stupid i don't get it i i don't understand um for context i drive a 2015 subaru legacy which i officially own myself now by the way I've paid that bitch off i don't consider myself a amazing driver i don't consider myself a car enthusiast by any means but i do feel like i i have obtained some magical fucking sense of awareness that most of the rest of the state has yet to even be brought into the awareness of it, it, it's it's incredible to me how many times i will be on the road just doing what I feel is the bare minimum to like not make driving a fucking nuisance for everybody else on the road. And yet there's always, always a handful of people every trip I take in the 15 to 20 miles that I have to drive who just have no awareness, no awareness that they are making the rest of the driving experience awful for everyone else. Case in point, Put up a little little graph, Alex. Here, switch to it. I don't fucking care what you do. Show it. If you got a, a road, right? Let's 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 pretend there's a road here, okay? And it's two lanes. Let's just start with two lane highway, right? So two lanes going one way, two lanes going the other way, right? What lane should you be in? Go ahead and put your comment right now. What lane should you be in? If you said the right lane, great job. You're not a brain dead fucking idiot. But if for some unforsaken reason you find yourself in the fucking left lane, you better, you better be fucking passing somebody. Because if I catch you in the left lane and you're not passing someone and then subsequently moving back over to the right lane, um, I'm going to run you off the fucking road. Maybe a bit extreme of a reaction, but really why are you in the left lane why are you in the left lane you should be passing somebody moving back over and leaving that lane open for other commuters to be able to travel simple as that now maybe you use it if say there's a an entrance ramp right entrance ramp coming uh from the right you're gonna let that car get in the onto the highway maybe it's a big semi trailer move over to the left lane let them enter the right lane and then you're probably going faster so you're going to pass them and then you're going to get back on the right lane mind your business right that is not at least in my opinion a very hard concept now bear with me let's add one more fucking lane to each direction now you got a three lane going that way three lane going that way what lane should you be in put your comment answer below right now text your answer to this number If you said the right lane, guess what? You're fucking wrong. There's this idea that like slower traffic moves to the right, which I understand. It normally should. However, once you add a third lane to your highway going north or whatever the fuck you want to call it, that right lane is not where you need to be. The right lane should be exclusively used for entering the freeway and then subsequently exiting the freeway. And that left lane hasn't changed. The left lane should still, still be used exclusively for passing. That's it. So that leaves only one fucking lane where you should be entering 
and just chilling out until it's your time to exit the freeway. And that's the lovely and underappreciated middle lane. Simple as that. That middle lane, that's your comfort spot, okay? You get in that middle lane, you fucking crank your tunes, you grab your fucking rock star energy drink, and you take a big swig like the gamer that you are, and you just chill. You just hang out in that fucking middle lane until it's time for you to get off the freeway. You move yourself over to the right lane, squeak yourself off, goodbye, see ya. It was like you're not even there. It was like you were never there. And that should be the idea, right? You don't fucking cause an issue for any other driver on the road if you're doing two things. One, not hogging the fucking left lane, or I guess maybe the right lane in this situation too. And two, go the fucking speed limit at least. Now, if it's the winter and we just got some fresh snow, that's one thing. Slow it down a little bit, right? Your, your Toyota Camry is probably not ready for that shit, so slow it down. But then there's the fucking weird part of you Minnesota that decides, oh, there's fresh snow on the ground. Time to fucking do 85 around everybody and scare the shit out of anyone being close to me. Don't do that either. But if it's regular weather conditions and the roads look good and the speed limit is 60, for the love of God, go fucking 60. Not 55, not 50, go 60. If you want to go a little quicker, I'm not going to tell on you, but go at least the speed limit all right why the fuck are you driving so slow when you're allowed to go 60 why are you going 40 and then just letting everybody get backed up behind you in the left lane nonetheless so don't do that that left lane i can't stress this enough you get in it you pass you fucking move over also don't pass somebody who's doing 60 in the middle lane let's say uh and you're going 61 and take seven years to overtake them and then move over. Don't do that. Don't be that guy either. Get in the left lane, speed the fuck up, and get out. Like, you don't need to hang out in the left lane. If I ran for president, and I've told people this before, if I ran for fucking office, I would be running on a campaign of you in the left lane and you're not passing, executed. The, the state kills you. Drone strikes, maybe. Point is, don't fucking hog the left lane for your own self-interest and just be aware of other people when you're driving because you're not the only one on the fucking road. You're not the only one trying to get from point A to point B. Just don't make it a fucking headache for everybody else. Don't be that equivalent of that guy who walks into the supermarket and automatic doors open up and the first thing you do is grab your cart and stand in the middle of the fucking doorway looking for what part of the store you need to go to first. Move out of the way and then figure that out. Just situational awareness, folks. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Alex, why is there no, what, what's the, what is this content? What is this tech stuff? Where, where, where is the tech stuff? Why aren't you doing movie reviews like you said you were going to? I don't fucking know. None of you watch this anyways. So why should I care? I'm gonna make whatever the hell I feel like making. Hmm? Simple as that. I will say, though, I am working on a, a, a written review of um, some tech products I never thought I would own. Uh, spoilers, I guess. Uh, secondly, I'm also working on a review of The Batman. And uh, it is April 5th, which, if you're a Marvel fan, you know that that is the first night that uh, Multiverse of Madness will be playing. So I'm going to see that tonight with some friends. And I very well may record an actual short video about that. So, um... I got nothing left to add, so why don't you just click off this video and uh, act like you never saw this. My whole point with this video was to let out some anger, because I complain about this shit like every day. And uh, if you happen to be in Minnesota, and you saw this video and it maybe made you rethink your driving habits, because that's all I want, I just want you to be better, you know? Um, awesome. But if I catch you in that fucking left lane, I swear to God. Ooh.